Having your Galva laser correctly focused is required for crisp and reliable engravings. This is especially important when attempting deep engravings or using features such as cylinder correction. Some Galva lasers don't have the option to swap lenses, but many do. Each lens size will have a different focal length that will need to be found through an initial test engrave etch. In this video, we will go through the process of finding the correct focus distance for your lens. Make sure to watch this entire video to understand the process before starting. It is common for lenses to come labeled with a focal length on the side of the lens. For example, my Theta lens has f equals 290 millimeters labeled to indicate a 290 millimeter focal length. Through my testing, the focus distance when measured from the bottom edge of the lens is 313 millimeters. The focus distance will be slightly different than the focus length of the lens and will need to be dialed in for each lens you get. Even if you have two lenses of the same focal length, they will have varying focus distances due to manufacturing tolerances. To follow along, you will need the lens you will be finding the focus distance on as well as a piece of scrap material to engrave. I'm going to be using my 70mm lens and a thin metal business card to run the test engrave. We will be running fill passes of a square onto our material while we adjust the height of our laser. During this engraving, we will be using visual and audible cues to find the focus distance. If you have swappable lenses, start by installing the lens you are wanting to focus, then connect to Lightburn and power on your laser. We will start by creating a square in our workspace. Heading over to the left toolbar, click on the square icon to activate the rectangle tool. Then, holding the shift key, click in your workspace and drag to create a square. In the top toolbar, make sure that the lock is enabled and set the dimensions for your square. Anywhere between 20 to 40 millimeters should be perfect depending on the size of your material. For the metal business card, I will go with 30 millimeters. In the cuts and layers window, set the mode to fill by clicking on the mode dropdown and selecting fill. For this engraving, we want to use fairly low power to help us more accurately determine the best height. This will vary based on your laser's power and the material you are engraving. For my 30 watt laser, I will set the power to 30%, the speed to 300 millimeters per second, and the frequency to 25 kilohertz. Place the item you will be engraving on the bed of the laser and select the framing button in the laser window to open the live framing window. Make sure the square frame has plenty of space on top of your material. Since we will be raising and lowering the head of the laser while the engrave is running, it will shift around a bit. As a starting point, take the focal length labeled on your lens and raise the laser about 20 to 30 millimeters above that. It's better to start high and lower the laser to find the focus distance. When you're ready, click the start button to begin the engrave. While the engrave is running, we will start by jogging the head of the laser downward. We are looking for the point that the laser is brightest while running and the loudest. Fiber lasers, when in focus, will make a very obvious sound that may be easier to go based off of than brightness with your safety glasses on. I typically start by doing a quick jog down until I start to see and hear the laser engraving. At that point, I slow down the movement until it peaks. Lasers with a manual Z-axis will be a bit easier to really dial in than a machine with an automatic Z like mine. I will often overshoot the focal point and need to jog back up to return to it. This may take a couple of tries to set correctly. If the engraving finishes before you're able to get the lens focused, press start again to rerun the job. You can also enable the Run Continuously option, which we covered in the previous Framing for Fiber Laser video. Once you have the correct height, we will need to measure that distance. The easiest way I found to do this is by taking my metric ruler, placing it on the business card, and measuring the height from the very bottom of the lens. For my lens, this value is 101 millimeters. You'll want to write this value down so that you can easily reference it in the future. If you have a label maker, I've found printing out the value and attaching it to the outside of the lens to be a great way of keeping track of this. You can use a ruler each time you want to engrave an object to set the height, but a jig will make this much quicker. If you have access to a 3D printer or laser capable of cutting thin materials, creating a jig that is the length measured to place under the lens is very handy. This will allow you to place the jig on top of what you are engraving, drop the head of the laser down until the bottom of the lens cover touches the jig, and know that you are at the correct height each time. Alternatively, a dowel rod cut to length will also make a great focus gauge. 
You should now have a much better understanding of how to find the correct focal length for your fiber laser lens. The process is fairly simple, but extremely important to get crisp, precise engravings. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to not miss any new videos, and check out our existing tutorial playlist for additional guides on mastering Lightburn.